hello and welcome to this episode. Uh, so this episode was um, is going to be about OCD, anxiety, and medication, and just my overall thoughts and ideas on med- uh, medication. I want to very much start out this episode by saying I can't prescribe medication, and I you know that anytime you take medication, any medication choices should be consulted by your psychiatrist and doctor. I just want to share essentially kind of my take and my experience. Um, personally, as well as, you know, from just the general research that I've uh, um, consumed on medication when it comes to, you know, using it with recovery. So, and this has been a topic that's been requested several times. So I decided to, uh, to make an episode on it. Before we dive in, um, if you could help out the show by liking and subscribing, as well as sharing Um, you know, and even leaving a comment or review on iTunes, it would really help us with the algorithm. So we'd really uh, appreciate if you would take the time to do that. Also, I just want to let you know that in the links, we've actually, um, you know, uh, um, you know, listener reached out and asked if they could make a donation to this show. And we had never really even considered that idea. Uh, So, you know, we are now accepting donations um, for anyone who uh, feels, you know, being compelled to, to help uh, um, donate to the show and support us. So uh, there's also a little link and it's, um, you know, via PayPal where you can donate and support as well. So uh, we appreciate any and all support that you're willing to give. So let's go ahead and dive into the idea of medication. Now, first off, we need to understand that there are obviously so many types of medication that one could be considering on this journey, just depending on where you are. And I know the initial, you know, the initial, you know, desire for medication is always like, Hey, I want to take a medication. So I don't feel this, or I don't, um, you know, I I don't have these, you know, like I can get rid of these thoughts or calm my system down and, and all that. Now I want to be like, you know, transparent that like, you know, when I was, first really struggling you know it's like you know yeah medication was definitely something that I had considered Uh, you know I kind of went into this I was really resistant to it and then I was like okay you know like a little more considering of it right you know and um and and after going looking back on everything the you know the evidence is quite clear that the best results seem to be in the studies um people that do the combination of the behavioral therapy along with medication and how, and, and specifically what we're talking about there is usually SSRIs or selective serotonin uh, reuptake inhibitors. I think they just own SRIs now. I don't, you know, I really don't know. So these uh, you know, and there's generic and on like the international OCD uh, foundation, they have, you know, kind of the different medications that they recommend. So you can check that out. Um, you know, and, and, you know, you can obviously talk to your doctor as well, but when you're talking about an SSRI, essentially what you're, what we're talking about here is the serotonin, right. Um, being transmitted from neuron to neuron in your brain and what's happening. You kind of got to think of it like this. This was the best explanation, um, I ever heard. And it was in my, like, I think like a neuropsych class, um, Long, long time ago. So maybe this isn't even a valid explanation anymore. I don't know what we know now, you know, but, but it just always stuck with me. So like picture this little, you know, AirPod holder here as, um, you know, a, a neurotransmitter, right. And essentially it's, you know, serotonin or dopamine. And these are like the neurons, like my hands. And so essentially what has to happen is the serotonin has to get put into the synapse right? Which is the space in between neurons because now they're not connected. And then the other one takes it up. And what's happening is, is it's putting it in and taking it back and taking it back. And so the transition isn't happening. So a reuptake inhibitor is when it is forced to keep it there long enough so it can, you know, help the production of the flow of serotonin in the brain. So that's, that's what the SSRI is uh, kind of designed to do. Not that it really matters, but I just wanted to kind of under- like help you understand that in a second. Cause I just, I just really liked, um, I can't even remember my teacher's name, but, uh, man, I just remember that visual so well when she was explaining it, uh, probably, probably because I was really struggling at the time. So I was like really interested in what she was saying. Um, so the SSRIs are, are, and along with behavioral therapy have been shown to be, um, 
very effective, you know, working in, in simultaneous or, you know, in conjunction, you know, and, and how I would think of medication on this journey in any state is really this idea of like, if we were, this is what I tell most of my clients, right? Cause I don't prescribe medication. Uh, I leave medication as a choice up to anyone, whatever they want to do on this journey. You know, and, the, and, and again, SSRIs, like the thing is, I mean, to be transparent about it. It's like, you know, you can have different reactions to different ones. There can be a trial and error process. They may, you know, you may have, you may not, you know, really have a, a positive reaction to it. So it's like, it's one of those things to like, do I think people can get better without medication? Yes, I do. Right. Did I take medication on my journey? Yes, I did. Um, and, and I took an SSRI and, um, you know, my, my thought on medication personally was always like the minimal effective dose. Right. So, um, you know, I, I resisted for many years and I started taking it and then, you know, that was, so then, then I weaned, um, down and, um, you know, got off it. And then, you know, during, um, you know, like when my daughter was born, for instance, I made the conscious choice to, before she was born, just cause I knew it was going to be a stressful time and probably wasn't going to be sleeping. I actually went back on one for uh, a, a period of time and in a, in a kind of a proactive way. So, um, that was kind of how I did, you know, um, medication with the SSRI. So I, I did take an SSRI for that. The, and, and how I always equate medication to people is like medication can reduce symptomology, but it's, it really is, you know, a, a limited reduction that you're going to get at best. It's not going to solve the problem, the behavioral therapy, uh, you know, that, that one engages in and, and the behavior and cutting out the behavioral responses is really what's going to resolve the issue. Um, you know, because it's about the retraining of the brain. And, and ultimately the neuroplasticity that takes place. And so when, when I use, when I talk about medication, if someone asks, I always say, it's like the same thing. It's like, look, there's this mountain we got to hike up or this hill. Right. And as we hike up the hill, medication can be a metaphorical walking stick, right? Like it can help you get up the hill, but you can still walk up the hill without it. Right. I've seen people not take medication and have great results. I've seen people that take it and do the behavioral therapy and also have great results. What I don't usually see is someone who says, Hey, I'm just going to take meds and that's it. Because they're still going to engage in compulsions. They're still going to have the feelings. They're still going to have thoughts that they, um, you know, are. And so, so when it comes to like medication as a, as a whole, um, SSRIs have been shown to be very effective, right? You know, and, and again, if it, and then, so it's a personal choice on that one though. It's not like, I don't think someone should or shouldn't. I think you need to look and make your decision for yourself. If it, you know, and, and if it is something where you're very adverse and resistant to doing the actual um, behavioral techniques, that could be the thing that you need to get you over the edge, right? Like I, I, I used to like, you know, say these like just blanket statements and I've really kind of shifted my views on it because Again, everyone's at different points. Now, also, if you know if you're having like high levels of panic, and you know you're having trouble sleeping, like uh, you know different sleep aids can help, right? They can be really helpful, especially if your nervous system is extremely active. And so it could be something as simple as melatonin, but there also could be sleep aids that that people are um, you know given. Um, now, you know, I I, I tend to encourage people more towards the like the non-dependent sleep aids right ideally um but but i mean there's been times where you know um like and, and that's one of those things that you just have to kind of talk to your doctor about and definitely make a decision that's best for you so so you know I, that's that's one of those things that i would consider as well um you know let's so let's talk about more um like the volumes and the the um Xanax and, and the real like, you know, kind of tranquilizer anti-anxiety medications. So if you, my honest opinion is that I've never taken those and at least to this point in my life. And, um, it's not something that I, I, I want to take. Um, you know, the, the problem that I have with things like benzodiazepines is that, you know, there's a, you know, a, a possibility of dependency as well as, it, it, it creates an immediate shift, right? So medication, let's like, we need to let go of the idea that medication are just pharmaceutical based. It's like, we can self-medicate with anything. We can self-medicate with alcohol, with drugs, with 
gambling, pornography, right? Uh, you know, TV, right? I mean, just, just I mean, there, there's so many ways of self-medicating. Um, and, and so when I talk about medication, I think it's really, again, framing it in the context of like, okay, what are you using the medication for? Are you using to try to get an instant shift? And if that's the case, then, you know, you got to realize about training your brain. Well, if you're taking something every time you feel anxious because you don't want to feel anxious, well, you're training your brain that anxiety is dangerous and, and something that you don't have the ability to experience. So things like the, um, you know, the anti-anxiety medications that actually cause like, a, you know, a, a real reduction in the nervous system, especially consistently for a long period of time. You know, that that's that's something if I like I'll say I don't really support um, because it's it doesn't it doesn't provide a long term solution. There may be a short period of time where you go on that and that's OK. Right. You know, but again, the at the end of it, you know, um, we, we always want to be focusing on the behavioral aspects of the recovery as the primary. So I think medication is just like these walking sticks that can help us up the hill. And maybe you need a really big walking stick when you're first starting, and then we can kind of switch into a different one and kind of, you know, transition out. Um, and then, you know, there's obviously like over the counter supplements as well that people use. But again, I still go back to the initial drive to it. And one of the reasons that SSRIs, you know, that, that someone's going SSRI, I, I, you know, I support that in because it's not, it's not going to create an immediate reaction. It's going to be something that's just going to naturally kind of like, you know, uh, help a rebalancing over time for, for some people. So, so, you know, it's, it's one of those things that um, these are just some ideas. And again, this is not advice. This is just me kind of talking about my experience um, personally, as well as working with people of what I, what I've seen. And, and again, if I'm going to work with someone, um, you know, I, again, I, I, I really allow it to be their choice because it is. It's a, it's, a, it's a decision you have to make for yourself. And there's no right way to do this. It really is just going back to the end goal of why we're doing it in the first place. And, you know, if you're looking for that quick, I need to get rid of this period. And the, the thing is, there are, there are medications that do that, but that trains us on a, on a conditioning level that, again, anxiety is bad. So we keep wanting that. And also, um, you know, it doesn't help us really engage in the behavioral tools when anxiety surfaces to actually help, help us learn how to feel our feelings and, um, and go through that process. So there's just some just ideas on medication. Um, and, you know, again, it's not something that I prescribe. So it's something that if you want to check out on your journey, please talk to your doctor, talk to your psychiatrist, and, you know, make the best decision for you. And that's the thing I would say is always make what you believe to be in aligned with the best decision for you. And that's the, that's the best thing you can do. So please don't think that because I took SSRIs that that means you should or vice versa. It doesn't, it, this is just what I did. Right. And, um, you know, it, it's, it's a thing where um, I think meds can be used in, in a great way uh, to, to support someone's recovery. I really believe that it's just a matter of, you know, really making sure you're getting in and, and talking with the doctor or a psychiatrist that also shares what you want long term. So being willing to share that, and if a psychiatrist doesn't align with you, uh, and and you're not in alignment with what they're saying, then go see a different one. You know, like and same with the therapist. It's like if, if you're not in alignment with what's being said or what you know what you're, uh, you know, and, and they're not supporting kind of you aren't you aren't seeing eye to eye and stuff. Please don't take that someone's opinion and just as the end all be all. It's like really do your own research, do your own due diligence and make the best decision for yourself. So that's what I would say about medication. Um, hope this was helpful. And again, we have a little link down in the notes for a, a free resource over at Restored Minds. We also have definitely uh, programs and support as well uh, for at Restored Minds for you on this journey. So thank you so much for hanging out today and um, wish you guys a great week. And I look forward to seeing you on the next episode. Take care. Thank you so much for watching that video. And so if you're struggling with OCD and anxiety, I just wanted to let you know that we have a free training for you um, over at Restored Minds where you can start learning how to use our AAA response to really break out of that loop and ultimately take back control of your life. And all you need to do to get access is just click the little link below and you'll be taken to a page where you can register today. Thank you so much.